Hey guys, it's Sarah. Um, do you want to get ready with me? I'm getting ready to film a couple videos on some stuff that I got in the mail, and then I have some errands to do after, and I thought, why not get ready? So I already moisturized and primed my face. I used the Too Faced Primed and Poreless from my Project Pan, and then the majority of the makeup that I'll be using is everything from my Project Pan. So, yeah, let's just uh, get to going. I'm going to use my Maybelline Dream Pure BB, and I'm going to apply it with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Ugh. I hope this lighting is okay. I know I have the dots from like the like the blinds, but I don't know how to make them go away. I tried opening it and closing it, and it just wasn't working. Also, um, my mirror is right over here, so if I'm looking over here, it's because I'm looking at myself in the mirror. Um, just because of the viewfinder, it's kind of hard sometimes. Hopefully, y'all understand. But yeah, um, what's new with you guys? Not really much is new with me. Um, did get a new vehicle. Um, that was that's crazy how that happened. Um, oh, right now I'm just cleaning off my little like plate that I use. Um, this is actually a coaster that I got at the BX. I think it was 99 cents, and I wanted something that I could mix on, and this is perfect. I just this was clean, um, but I just put some Purell in, on it and rubbed it around just to make sure it kills everything, so I can get my BB cream on there. I really like using something like this to put my like foundation and stuff on because it. I feel like you get more out of it than if you were to put it on the back of your hand. I feel like you have to use more product, but if you put it on something hard, like your hand's not like absorbing it. I don't know if that makes sense. That's just what I think. But yeah, so I ended up getting a new vehicle, which is really weird. Um, it was Saturday. Me and my husband had an appointment to go get um, two windows and hood truck tinted, and then all four windows in the car that I had. I had a Dodge 2013 Dodge Dart, and. It was like driving like a fishbowl, like there was no tinted windows, like at all. I got it when I was overseas. Let me close this a little bit. Bet wears. Better, okay. So I got it when I was overseas because I had a little Volkswagen Golf and I drove it up into a roundabout when it was raining out and it like ruined the whole like front, like driving parts of it, like the axle and everything. So I needed a new car, and at the time, me and my husband were just engaged. Uh, no, we had we had just got married, and so we were like, well, let's make a long-term investment. Let's not get like another crap car. We have like one to two years left here, like overseas. Let's not get a crap car because then, like, it could be bad. So we got went to Afies. I don't know if anybody is familiar with that, but went to Afies and they have new car sales overseas, and so the car that was there at the time that didn't suck, that wasn't like a Ford like Focus, like I'm not driving a Ford Focus, um, it was a Dart, and I didn't know anything about them and whatnot, so we get that, and I actually really liked it, at first I was like, I'm never getting a Dart, like, everybody that's like a young airman here, like, has a Dart, go not doing it, but I ended up really liking it, it was fully loaded, leather, um, sunroof, like, everything, the only thing it didn't have was tinted windows, it had like backup cam, it was good, um, so we went to go get those tinted, I spent like however much on that. It wasn't too expensive because it was just my whole car and then like two windows on his truck. And so we're like, okay. And he was like, can we go buy a Dodge dealership because he has Dodge Ram and see how much it would be to get like an additional key because we just got his truck like last month and they only gave us like one key. So he wanted like a spare key. So we go to get it and we end up trading in my Dart and I left with a 2014 Dodge Ram. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited about it. I love this truck. It's amazing. Now I'm using my Match Perfection concealer. It's amazing. Um, I always wanted a truck and my husband knew that and it was just a great deal. We couldn't pass it up at all. Like there was no way we were going to be able to walk away like, from the deal that we got. Uh, we saved like 10 grand off the list price of a brand new truck. I mean, would you guys pass that up? Maybe, but wish I could it. So that's been pretty cool. Trying to find a job. I don't have a job yet. And that's kind of like frustrating. But I mean, I flooded my application out like everywhere. So, or not my application, applications and then my resume out everywhere. So hopefully I hear something. So that's with concealer on. I'm not trying to be like perfect with any of this, obviously. If you've ever seen me get ready, well, my last get ready with me, it's like I have like a million, but my last get ready with me. Now I'm going to use my NYX HD Photogenic Powder, and I'm going to use my Real Techniques Setting Brush. I know I said in my other get ready with me 
that I like to use the e.l.f. Um, flawless concealer brush to set my eyes which is the truth but I only have one of them and sometimes like when I'm not using like a sponge to do my foundation um, I will use the e.l.f. brush to blend out my concealer so it'll have like the concealer and stuff on it and it's kind of hard to go in and then set when you have concealer so this is a good alternative you can't say do because I think that e.l.f. one is a little bit cheaper but I like it I like it a lot so I hauled that I was gonna be or I hauled from Ulta in the drugstore and I said that I was going to be um, doing a Nordstrom haul. I'm using my True Blend and my Elf Complexion Brush and then I was gonna be doing a Nordstrom haul but I got that stuff in the mail yesterday and unfortunately I decided to return everything in that order just because without having a job right this moment and getting a brand new truck I needed to make a little sacrifice so I sent that stuff back but um, I'm sure I will end up getting all that stuff again one day hopefully once I get a job so I'm just like using this all over I don't really I don't really do things probably the right way but I'm sorry, you guys can really hear that, Jen. But, what you get? Okay, I'm satisfied with this. Now, what do we want to do? Um, let's do... I'm not even, like, in it, but you guys see my nice big you know, movie screen right here? Okay, um, let me move this stuff over here so I'm not, like, all up in it. Do I want to do... <laughs> oh, I already took it out. I wonder if I find it. I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Boudoir Eyes Palette. If you want to know my opinion on this palette, um, stay tuned for another like week and a half, and then I will be having my update on it at the first of the month. Um, but I'm gonna take, um, I think, just fuzzy handcuffs right here, and this deluxe cre crease brush by Real Techniques, and just go straight for it. When I first got this brush, I was like, there's no way that's ever going to work as a crease brush. Like, they are insane if they think that's going to be, like, all okay to use. But it's actually really good. I like using this with my um, Chocolate Soleil bronzer to add some of that into the crease. So I'm just trying to get this color in the crease. I am really sorry about the lighting. I don't know. I don't know how to make it better, or if I try to make it better, if it will just be worse. So let's just keep going. Next I'm going to take this like blending brush, I think a Sigma E25, and I'm going to take a garter belt, which is this gray right here. I'm going to take that, and then work it into the crease. Concentrated more like on the outside, but we're still going to drag it in. Oh, let's just freaking pull for it, and then I, put, I bring it a little bit down for the outer corner like that. Super fancy, right? I got the, or I got my mind crime package. So that's one of the videos I'm gonna be shooting. But I'm actually gonna try something like way different with that, like probably way too advanced <laughs> for my channel. But I'm gonna try it and see what happens. So if a really cool video comes out, like we know that I succeeded. But if a really generic video comes out, just know that I failed. Like that's pretty much pretty much all there is to it. Um, next, I'm gonna take this Vital Radiance eyeshadow brush. I got this at Walmart like seriously ten years ago. And I'm gonna take birthday suits, this big color down here. And that's just going on the lid. I'm not happy with that birthday suit, so I'm going to go in with the one above it, satin sheets. Put that over it. Um, so that's where we're at so far. Probably looks pretty hit, but I don't claim to be no professional. I don't claim to be no, I do not claim to be a professional.
just going back in with garter belt on places that I put it before. Then I'm taking this E55 brush and the shade on top and the buff to highlight my brow bone. It really does make a difference when you put a brow bone highlight on and when you don't. Like I watched the transformation one time when I was doing this, when I was doing my makeup, and like, can you tell? This has brow bone highlight, this doesn't. But now watch, watch the magic. Did it work? Yeah. Now this one looks lifted too. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can tell there's a difference. Let's go into mascara. Just an elf girl or thing. I'm using Urban Decay Perversion. Let's see if I can not get it all over my eye. So there's that. That's not bad. I must have just been having a bad doing makeup day. But. So there is with one coat. But I think it looks better when it's built up. You see those lashes? You guys probably don't even want to do that far. Close up, but. Sorry. This Real Techniques dual fiber brush and chocolate soleil. I don't really know that I'm contouring that much today. I'm just kind of slapping it on my face. Okay, I'm lightly contouring. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Do I look better or worse? Tell it to me straight. picks it up way different on camera than it is in person because I don't think it looks that harsh in person so eco tools um uh, dumped bronzer buff it out so there's all that it does not look this different like it doesn't look this crazy in person like i really didn't use that much product at all like normally i can i'll be like whoa that's a strong contour but this really isn't that bad i don't know i think it's trying to play tricks on me i um sorry my phone i'm going to tight line with this i think it really makes a difference it really like defines your eye so i like that um it does get a little smudgy under there and it sometimes does, it mostly transfers down, but normally only like on the outer half, which I'm okay with, but I'm not gonna put anything, you know, particular over there. Then let's see, um, what is this, the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Color in Enchantment. See, I just roll it up like, don't much, like nothing. Nothing is up, pretty much. I'm just gonna fill in my lips. It is not that bright in person. I did have on some of my Nivea lip butter when I did moisturize and prime, but I did just a thin layer and there wasn't too much on my lips before I put this on. If there would have been like a lot, I would have wiped it off, but we're good. And then I'm gonna use my NYX butter gloss in uh, freaking creme brulee. Can you see that? I tried to be cool with just using the viewfinder, but since they have like no top lip, I um, had to look at me. But I mean, really, that's it. I'm just gonna hit it with a few sprays of this NYX Dewy finish finishing spray. And just kind of to lock it in and break it down if I looked powdery or anything. So that's it. I mean, nothing complicated. That's just it. So. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, hopefully this isn't too long. I'm going to try to slice and dice it up so that way it's not. And yeah, um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.